Are you gonna financially recover from this? Okay guys, I'm back in Garena Speed with this. This time we're actually going to review Source Polaris EXA. Alright, we already done the gacha. So let's take a look at this T car. So this T car is more to speed and end tank. It's characteristic there's two. One is for speed, one is for item. For speed mode, each time you use a mini boost, you get a layer of charge. Each layer of charge when you use nitro provides 0.5 km per hour speed bonus and 5% end tank. For this nitro up to 14 layers. When a single release charge is more than 4 layers, more or equal to 4 layers, the maximum speed of nitro plus 7 km per hour for 8 seconds. That's a uh, long eh? <laughs> okay, for the item effect, in item mode, your base max speed will be plus 9 km per hour, your minibus max speed plus 7 km per hour, your minibus power plus 6%, and minibus duration plus 0.02 seconds. Okay, we are gonna test speed mode. Uh, super easy as well, man. I might as well explain. After use, you can get one mini boost every 0 0.6 seconds for 8.4 seconds. During that period, base max speed plus 6 km per hour. One fusion point is because okay, one fusion point is just uh, the amount of times you can do the ECU. Okay, so. Every 0 0.6 second for 8.4 second, you can get up to 40 mini boosts. Modding for this car with infinity chip, middle, left, left, left. Okay. So let's test this out for speed mode first. Okay, I'm not gonna do the start boost eh, so that I won't get the charge. We want to test without any charge first. Okay. So normal speed is 203.9 CW 314.6 That is without any charge eh? So if I add a bit more Okay, now there's already two charges you can see eh? Because I did CWW So that will be 315.6 Okay, because there's two charge So if I make 14 eh? 14 is the maximum One more. Okay, now it's 14 charges. 3 to 8.6. Okay, so you can see that every single W increases a charge, and every charge at 0.5 km per hour and also N tank. So when I use nitro, you, you gain a certain amount of N tank based on how many charge you have. So just now, when 14 charges, I gain like 84% end tank <laughs> yeah, 6% end tank per charge So you can get up to 84% end tank Depending on how many mini boosts you use Okay so Nitro first Let me test the rest No charge first eh? WCW 297.4 Okay but just now I W eh? So <laughs> there was one charge already actually eh? But never mind To get the zero. WCW the how am I gonna do this? Three one nine point five, but yeah, there was a uh, one boost or so. Eh? One, I did one boost for that. So let me make it out to fourteen again. Uh. Lawrence, you can skip this. <laughs> WCW 310.9. So 14 charge WCW. 14 charge WCW. 333. <laughs> okay, that's the highest speed you can get uh, with this D car. Alright, and that was without ECU. So with ECU, uh, this one is a bit. Uh, bug and eh? you cannot equip the ECU normally you have to go here and make sure you have no ECU with you so now I don't have an ECU go to car ECU and equip uh, all races right there 
it doesn't show it doesn't show in your prepare but it's already there unless you change fat so that's a feature <laughs> so I'm gonna test the ECU is it there? yes there it is what ECU does is increase max speed plus 6 km per hour and also you get mini boost for 0 0.6 seconds for 8.4 seconds so you can get 14 mini boost from that eh? so if I nitro first okay that's one there and again two okay so now I press the ECU 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 okay and that so you can use this to uh, usually this is where you don't need to drift uh, snap boost like CT11 for example okay you can use this uh, super ECU okay that is speed mode <laughs> Yeah, that was speed mode and eh? not item mode. But item mode is basically the same speed, but you got extra plus. What was it again? Let me check. Yeah, uh, basic max speed plus 9 km per hour. That means in item mode, it will be 212.9 normal speed. And mini boost max speed plus 9 km per hour, mini boost power plus 6%, mini boost duration plus 0 0.02 seconds. Can I test it now? Um, pretty sure I can. But it's not a flat road. Eh? Wait. Yeah, 212. Well, this is uh, there's a hill, so I can't really tell. But <laughs> yeah, you can see it's 210 plus. Uh, okay? I don't really need to show it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not really gonna play item mode much. We'll be playing speed more. So first off, let's test in CT11. Uh, CT11. I prefer reverse, but let's play the normal CT11 first. Oh wait. Okay, this is annoying. I have to go back to the ECU. Yeah, this is the problem. About <laughs> this is the feature that I was I was saying. Not sure if that works. Uh, okay, nope. Okay, I think it might work this time. Yeah, I think it's correct. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's see if I can break my own record. Alright, first race. Totally not uh, second round.
messed up. Oh, no. That could have been a perfect run. But I got new record. Let's go. 157. <laughs> Can be better though. Can be better. Okay. So like CT11 uh, starting you have to do a few snap boosts. But with the Super ECU, you don't have to. You can just continue with that one Nitro. So some maps you can do that. Some maps you still prefer to use the Blink ECU. So I'm gonna play Quick Race. I don't think I wanna try to play Rank. Nah, maybe I should. Hold up. Okay, no choice then. Rank it is with my Zing Speed as my host to find the match. <laughs> if I get CT11 again. <laughs> Nope. Okay, Los Angeles. Um, I don't think we need the Super ECU here. He messed up <laughs> the same spot that I am. Okay, I can get a new record if I did a mistake there. Okay. Atlantis, okay perfect. Super ECU time. There's three T cars including me. <laughs> yeah, right, and then there's another example where you can use the super ECU. 
Okay, time for my least favorite mode now. Rank item. I'm not sure if my EC is there or not. But let's go. That was quick. Great. <laughs> Actually, just great. And yes, I am using two accounts still. So I'm playing... <laughs> Uh, two phones again with item with my Vietnam account. This might not end well. Tika and item, but it's a 2v3. <laughs> Please tell me my ECU is there. I don't see my ECU. God damn it. I missed. <laughs> you so much, Okay, we won. But that wasn't my plan. Eh? I wanted to play item with the super ECU. Alright. Alright guys, I think that will be it for this review. I don't want to make this video too long. Okay, So I'm just showing two, actually three, if you count the... Uh, the City 11 races of speed and just one item. Uh, if I was able to use the ECU item properly, that would have been even better <laughs> because I don't have any ECU at all just now. But we still won nonetheless, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> okay, so Source Polaris EXA. Currently, I'll say it is no doubt the best car ever, even in QQ Speed Mobile right now. It's still top one. No T car is beating this T car. LYR is even uh, second. EXC is still better than LYR. So, getting this T car now is actually the best uh, one to get. Yeah, but the problem is the price. Uh -huh. <laughs> Rip all the wallets of everyone of getting this car. This T car. But it is worth getting. Okay, worth getting <laughs> but definitely not gonna gacha any more cars because uh, yeah no car can beat this T-car for sure you want to wait one more year this is still top one so <laughs> what else can I say it's a literally pay to win car <laughs> so uh, for those who want to try out this car even though not permanent there is still a way I, I already mentioned this before but gacha charge 10 times uh, 12, you will reach 120. You get 7 days trial of this T car. Okay? Even if you don't spend anything, it's still possible to reach um, to reach about how many? 39 free if, because you can press free once every two days, right? So there's 39 free there, and then some mecha stones here and there. That will make it about 50, I think. That's my <laughs> guess, only 50, 60, maybe. So that will reach you about, yeah, I say like 60, maybe. Like. And then you need another 60 more. So you, if you want to get the 12, you still have to spend. You cannot get it really free. <laughs> That's the downside of uh, this expensive pay to win T car. <laughs> but yeah, 
Also, playstyle is different and eh? when you have this T-car, your playstyle is different now because this car can drift even stronger, uh, turning also stronger, so you can... A lot of different things I need to learn as well because, yeah, totally different league than A-cars. And I, now I just need to worry about, it's not about uh, what car do I want to use, but which ECU only I have to use. <laughs> Just stick with this car all the way, and <laughs> you can no longer catch a cars anymore because this will be the car you'll be using for the rest of your life, probably. <laughs> so, all right, I think that'll be it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Starting now, we're entering big hell. <laughs>